Hello guys, welcome to another video in which we would be discussing about how to fix there was an error saving this video. Please try again later on iPhone. Are you having trouble that you are receiving an error message which says there was an error saving this video and please try again later on your iPhone while taking a picture or a video on your device or saving an external video file. Don't worry, in this video will help you find a solution for it. Just follow these easy steps. One, Check your internet connection. Make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi or cellular connection. Toggle the Wi-Fi or airplane mode on and off to reset the connection if needed. 2. Restart your iPhone. Press and hold the power button and volume button until the slide to power off slider appears. Drag the slider and wait for your iPhone to shut down completely, then turn it back on. 3. Update to the latest iOS version. Go to settings, general and software update and make sure that your device is up to date. Also make sure your iPhone has at least 50% battery charge or is plugged in while updating and install if you have any updates available. 4. Reset all settings. Go to settings and general and scroll down till you find transfer or reset iPhone. Then click on reset and select reset all settings. This will reset all your settings without deleting your data. 5. Free up storage space. Go to settings and then general and then iPhone storage. And delete unused apps, photos, videos etc. To make sure that you have more room optimizing photos and videos can also help. 6. Erase all content and settings. As a last resort, go to settings, general and then transfer or reset iPhone. Then click on erase all content and settings. This will wipe your iPhone clean, so make sure to back up your data first. If the issue persists after trying these steps, there may be an issue with a specific video file you are trying to save. Try downloading or transferring the video again. If the problem is limited to that one, it could be corrupted. Even after doing all these steps, if you are still not unable to do it, it's better that you contact Apple support.